Afternoon people, back in the kitchen again and today it feels good to be back. I have got something that I haven't had for a few weeks and I've actually never seen this one before. I know it divides uh, opinion in the comments so get in them comments and let me know what you guys think but I did come across a Kershaw's beef stew and dumplings with mashed potato, carrots and peas. Now Regular viewers of the channel know I love a good stew, especially with dumplings. I love dumplings. It's probably my favourite winter food, stew and dumplings. Like, literally, I absolutely love dumplings. Oh, I could just eat hundreds of the things. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, that these are really good. Now, price. I actually bought these from... Let me dig all my receipts out. Somewhere random, I, th I think it was Poundland. Let me see. Poundland, it was Poundland indeed, although it wasn't a pound. So let's talk price. It says £2.25 on it, that was not the price. I bought these, this, from Poundland, and it was £1.60. So... It's even cheaper than usually, the three for a five are usually, but it's even cheaper than that 160. So, hopefully it's good. It does say 225 on it, but you get to Poundland, you get these for 160. And actually, on the back, there's actually a couple more that I haven't seen either. Look at, I'll, show you, I'll show you the box now. So, this is the box. Look at that. Look at them dumplings. Two, which is a bit of a shame, although... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bits of beef. That is a traffic light system without any colours. 375 calories in this uh, ready meal, so it's not too bad. The only bad side is the salt, really, salt content. 375 grams of weight. Beef stew and dumplings with mashed carrots and peas. Like I was just about to say then, there's actually two there that I've never seen on in, Al in um, any Kershaw's either. Usually I only see these in Morrison's and in farm foods, but these must be somewhere. Bangers and mash and cottage pie. They're my my missus has two favourite meals. So I wonder what they're like. I like to keep an eye out for them. There wasn't in Poundland, I can tell you that for nothing. So the ingredients are here. 40% beef in gravy, 34% mashed potato, 12% carrots, 8% dumplings and 6% peas. You've got wheat, milk as the allergens, and fish. Fish? Anchovies in beef and gravy? That's a strange one, isn't it? Look, anchovies. Anchovies, fish. What is that all about? That's strange, that, isn't it? Okay, so it says beef, stew in, and dumplings with mashed carrots and peas. Tender beef in a delicious rich sauce with creamy mashed potato, potato flakes, dumplings, carrots and peas. And that is the nutrition information. So you've got 16.5 grams of protein in this meal. 50 grams of carbs. It is frozen. You can microwave it here. Do you have to remove anything? Sometimes you have to remove stuff on these. Microwave from frozen. Um, remove the meal from the carton. Pierce the film with an oil compartment. Place on a plate in the microwave. And heat as per instruction. So seven minutes. Peel the film back, stir the beef stew, turn over the dumplings and recover for another five. So it's quite a, a long time. Does it say where the beef's from? I don't think it does. No. It don't matter anyway, does it? Let's give it a look. Let's have a look at it. Opens nice and easy. Can't really see much, but obviously you've got your beef stew and dumplings in there and your mash and your veg in there. So I get this in the microwave and I'll bring you back when it's time to uh, peel this and stir and turn. So, been in for seven minutes. Oh, look how small the dumplings are. They're rock hard as well. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe just a little bit sticking out. I've got to give it a stir and turn the dumplings over. Ah, see the gravy softens the dumplings up. That top bit of the dumpling then was rock hard. But it smells unbelievable. Now it goes back in. Look at that. 
I mean, as it shows on the picture, the beef is like in very square cubes. So you're not expecting that beef to be prime cuts of beef, but it'll be all right. Back in for another five minutes and then we'll have a taste. So it's done. Let's take a look. <laughs> Them dumplings look like meatballs now, don't they? There we go. So I'm hoping that mash is not too dry. You can always add a little blob of butter, can't you? Them veg look a bit sweaty, but they're hit and miss on Kershaw's, the veg. So let's get it on the plate and see if I can make it look like that. So there it is. Doesn't quite look as good as that on there, but you know what? For £1.60, it looks decent enough, doesn't it? Right then, let's have a taste. So it's all important taste time. We're just going to start with the mashed potato. I haven't added anything and that is quite creamy, quite nice actually. Um, let's see about this, uh, this vegetable because it does look a bit sweaty, I'll be honest. Yeah, there. I don't know, what, what can you do to add to that compartment to make them a bit like, you know like you add um, water to rice, what can you add to, to the veg to make it cook, better, microwave better, maybe a bit of butter, same as mash, because they're just a bit sweaty, a bit, they look, look like old, they're soft, they're not hard or anything, so, you might use a bit of this gravy on it and it might be alright, so dumpling, this is what it's all about for me. It's going to make or break this meal. You get two of these dumplings, which is uh, not enough, but that's only my preference. Yeah, they're quite nice. And a bit chewier than uh, if you made them yourself. However, they're still pretty nice. I'll tell you what. The gravy is fantastic. It's very salty, but that is the flavour. Salt and pepper in there. And there's cubes of beef, so I'm going to go in for that now. The gravy is fantastic. The beef, you can taste that beef, but it does feel a little bit processed. I mean, when they're exactly cubes, you have to wonder, don't you? And they don't really break up under the fork. There is some like what look like pulled bits of beef in there, which obviously is like incorporated into the gravy, which is not too bad. We'll get everything on the on the on a fork, which is how it's supposed to be, isn't it? A bit of everything. Give it a go. Mm. You know what? For one pound sixty, I don't think you can beat it. Pretty nice that. The gravy really makes it. Anything with that gravy will taste nice. It overpowers it, but in a good way. Because that mashed potato with the gravy, it'd be cracking. This is a <clears throat> value. It's a nine point five out of ten taste. It's an eight out of ten. It's really nice. I'm really impressed with it. To be honest, one pound sixty from Poundland or one pound sixty land. They should be called. <laughs> so not much in there for a pound anymore, to be honest. But yeah, this, I'm impressed with it. So it's warming the old cockles in this uh, in this little weird time between Christmas and New Year. You don't really you don't really know what to do. Like, you can't, especially when you don't know, you don't even know what day is a bank holiday and what day is not. It's, uh, it's a bit mad. So, I mean, I'm self-employed, so I don't get any bank holidays. You just work when you want to work or when you got to work and don't when you don't. But, that's it for another one. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. Did somebody say just oh, oh, oh. What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again. <laughs>